I played what is probably one of the worst premium tanks in War Thunder, the Finnish KV-1 in the Swedish tech tree. It's very rare I'll upload a video where I actively tell you to avoid something, but my word does this take first place. Ah, God damn it! there was one I didn't see. Oh. <laughs> I have had all <laughs> Oh, I hate this gun. Yeah. Seriously, why am I bothering? Subscribe for more and enjoy. Okay, first match of the day is Hudrigen. Hudrigen Forest, which is a good little map. Uh, I think let's, uh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, you, do, you get smoke in this. Interesting. Okay. All right, that should do for now. Let's go. Oh, German KV-1, my beloved. What a great tank. Oh, we're in tiger territory? Ha. Huh. Oh, no, even the higher. Panther A, 6.0? 5.7? Something like that. That's not good. Yeah, so that's the only problem with this KV, uh, KV-1 is that it's sitting at 5.0 right now. And from memory, you in the comment section will be able to correct me if I'm wrong. The original Finnish KV-1, the one that was given to the German tech tree way back when, sits lower. I think it's around... Uh, I think it's 4.0, 4.3, 4 4.7, 4 something like that. But that does... I can't remember if that gets the same gun as this. I can't remember. Two against the Americans, the Chinese, and the French. Okay. Surprised we haven't seen anyone trying to beeline it for, uh, for A, to be honest. Oh, no. They're over there. Never mind. Who we got here, then? I see you. Nope. Miss. Whoa. Okay. He sees me. Interesting. Oh, it's a char. Or is it an ARL? No, it's an ARL, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a slingshot match that he's going to win. So I'm actually going to back out of this one. Oh, there's two of them over there. That's not good. So what's going on here? Where are they going to push? Right, I'm going to have to risk getting shot by the um, ARL in order to try and secure this flank. Yep, they're up there. All right. Yep, keep moving. Keep moving. Right, one's up there. I could be shot from the left here. I have to be careful. Now, it's too risky for me to go straight up. I've got to go around. I've got to be super careful because they're going to be all over this flank. We are severely out of position and I do not like it. Right, one's down at the minimum, but another one could still be up here. I'm pretty sure an M18 can just chew through my armor as well. I'm not spotting anything yet, which is a little concerning. So that's the Puma. That's one M18. I'm pretty sure there's there was two up here, though. Right. Let's capture this zone real quick. All right, I'm capturing and I'm going to go for him. No, go away. Nice. Very honorable. Right. Go, 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 go. All right. I think he's dead. Cool. Right. What are we dealing with? What are you? Right. You ain't going anywhere, at least. All right, you're one of those. What is going on? The shot deviation is crazy. There we go. That's more like it. I am expecting them to try and flank and come back up here. This is actually quite a comeback. We've got... They must have overextended. Ow! What are you? Oh, I see you. Right, see if we can pop up here. There he is. No, okay. Oh, he's been spotted though. So I'm not alone in dealing with him anymore. He's on fire. I've got someone to the right as well. Far right, yeah, okay. So I'm going to use this wreck as cover. He's over here, understood. Right, he won't see me. He doesn't know I'm here. As long as he doesn't spot me, I'll be all right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Here he comes. Whoa, okay. Rock goes cannon barrel. That's all I needed. Wait, did I get his breach or did he get, did he get mine? Whoa! Okay, right, whatever. I saw right-hand side that it said cannon breach. Apparently not. 
Considering how up tiered we are in here, I'm actually <laughs> I'm not going to complain about our performance. <laughs> We're not doing that badly. I've got a fly in here that's really getting on my nerves. Go away! Get off my screen! Oh! Do a flip! Do a flip! Do a flip! Yeah! Get out of here! Nobody, nobody expects the JU88. Let's go! Come on, then. let's go! I don't care. I've got nothing to lose. I'm a 3.0 plane. Get out of here. Where's he gone? He's below me. I've only got one engine, so I already have to go back and land. Nice. That's probably the most agile I've ever made a JU-88. <laughs> right, I'm not even going to bother with landing here. I'm just going to put it down on the deck. There we go. Get yourself down. One of the few bomber cockpits that, although it's not a high definition one, it's actually fairly detailed. Uh, an unupgraded JU-88 is a lumbrous thing. I reckon what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, kind of scout out A just to make sure that they don't capture it. We've only got 50 kilogram bombs, so it's not particularly like we can do anything major. We have to get quite close. All right, is there any movement over here? Mm, doesn't look like it right now. They are capturing C, though. Oh, yes, there is. There's a little car. No, or it might be an ASU-50, something like that. Well, I got a hit on him, but it is a little car. It's an out. Is it that Alco thing? Alto? Come here. Come here. Yes. Stop it. Yes, yeah, stop the cap. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> no comeback for you. Ow. Those are going to hit. Ooh. That was close. Yeah! 10th <laughs> on the team! Let's go! Just out of curiosity, actually, where does the KV-2 ZIS-5 sit on... Well, KV-1 ZIS-5 sit on the Soviet tech tree? As I'm fairly certain, KV-1 L-11. Yeah, that's the one that there was on... That was the original type of finished one with extra armor. Is there anything else? Ah, yeah, so the, why is it 5.0? <laughs> why is it 5.0 when the, the original one is 4.7? <laughs> What's the difference? There is no difference. Uh, is there any difference? Hull armor. Okay, there's minor differences in the hull armor. Like minor, this panel, basically. I think it maybe has a slightly different turret, but... Come on, Gaijin. What is this? Okay, frozen pass. Nice. Yeah, I really need to sort out my um my shell setup in this because it's it's throwing me off in situations. So I need that here. So 25 of that, please. I then need does it go one, two, three, four? Does it go one, two, three, four? Alright, yeah, close enough. Cool. Huh, they're all that's gonna be absolute chaos up at A. <laughs> that's gonna be chaos. R3 T20? Where are we? Okay. Oh, no, we are 6.0. Ah! Ah! Random shot. Hello, Tiger E. What are you planning on doing here? Ah, oh, thank you, mate. No! God fucking damn it! Hate you yet. Um, yeah. Wow. 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 Straight away. Can't even get out of spawn. Crazy. Come here. Get out of here, dudes. This thing shouldn't be 5.0. <laughs> it just shouldn't be 5.0. Oh, thank you. Thank you, good sir, for actually helping. Right, now let's stop pussyfooting around and get into the fight. Oh, hello. Get out of here, dude. I want to get around here. Get off my screen, fly. Go away. There's a fly on my screen. And no, not that one. That one's coming back soon. Oof. Get out my way, you stupid fly. Yes! Now, as much as we're doing a very nice flank here, um, it is somewhat important that we also do try and capture the A point. I can hear them pushing. I think they're going to be coming around this way. Not sure if he's going to come from there or here. Oh, get out of here! So, I have a very good line of sight to their spawn, but I don't really want to be that guy. I do not want to be that guy. Ha! 
Cannon barrel. Nice. Ah, God damn it. That was one I didn't see. Well, this is pretty much a lost game, so I'm probably not going to bother coming back in a tank. I will come back with some bombs, though. Yeah, I'd certainly argue this thing isn't necessarily super comfortable at, uh, at 5.0. Uh, it's okay, but I wouldn't say that it's a good... Uh, I wouldn't spend my money buying it, I think is what I'm, I'm, I'm saying here. At the moment, obviously, because we keep getting up tiers at 6.0, maybe my thoughts will change if we actually get into our own battle rating. Um, but at the moment, I'm, I'm not really enjoying playing this tank. Come here, though. Nope. Right, there are lots and lots of points down here. So, I'm just going to lob them around and see what happens. You never know. Oh, we've got some hits. Oh, whoa! I don't think this recording session is going to go very well for some reason, lads. I just get this. I just get this feeling that we're not going to be doing very well. I don't really want to push here because... Hmm. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to pop up over the top here and I'm immediately going to get shot at. Is that someone there? Oh my god, it is! Reload quicker, please. Penetrate! Wow. Wow. Yeah. Got me. I haven't got a particularly good impression of this tank so far. I think it's uh, I think it's too high at the moment. I'll keep playing, but yeah, I'm not too impressed right now. Okay, Poland. Nice. Please, please give it. Please give us a 5.0 game. I'm just please, please. Um. Oh, mm, possibly. I mean, we're a little bit late, but, you know, this is what it is. Really, we need to try and lock down C, because he who controls the ridge controls B. Obviously, this is an uber risky maneuver, because we're coming at it from uh, an angle that would not, I would not normally attack from. Like, we're full side on to pretty much all of them right now. Oh, <laughs> I have had Walla <laughs> Lua. Come on, you slow boy, get up here. Anyone over on the ridge? Huh. Unusually not. I'm just, I'm waiting for a shell to come in from the right to kill me, to be fair. There's something up here. Well, they got the Avenger. Well done. There's an M24 somewhere. I'm just going to pop in here and hold here. Right, that's the M24 down as well. The lighting feels different, this patch. It feels really washed out. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult one because uh, they can shoot us from their spawn. That's a Sherman. Okay. Yeah. This is a super weird match. Oh, uh, quite a lot of them have left already, actually. Oh. I. All right. Let's go and get B then. I do not rate this tank at all. It's very rarely that I'll, I'll play a tank and just not enjoy playing it. But this is... This is one of those times. This is definitely one of those times. I have not enjoyed playing this so far. Anything here? Mm, no. Okay, multiple heavies on... On B, I believe. Wow! Okay, that's a problem. He can, can, who can reload faster? He can, right? Nope. Me. Good. Okay, so you're going around there. You're going to flank. You're a KV-1. Is he going to try and push there? I'm not really sure what's going on here. I think the team have spotted him, though. Yeah, I'm trying to attack the B point. I might just dive bomb it down there. Because he's not going to be able to see me from that angle, is he? Or you should be able to, at least. Yeah. Cool. Oh, no. Not you again. Not you again. Ah! Ah! That's terrifying. 
Where the bomb? 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 Right, we good. Ah, the bomb! Oh dear. Oof. What was that? That was that KV still alive. That's kind of bad. Nah, that's kind of bad. Okay. Okay. You don't need that. You don't need that track. Come on, fire. Do it. Nope. <laughs> Who can fire first? That's the question. Ah! I'm trying to get that freaking gun of the uh, driver port out. That would have been bad. Yes! C is completely unguarded right now, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, that was to be expected, wasn't it? Right, well, we might as well come back in a bomber. Right, you, come here. Okay, it's a hit, but it's nothing more. At least he can't move now. All right, go on anti-air over there causing trouble. Let's try and get some speed and... Right, you can get out of here. Ow, that hurts, whatever the hell that was. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to get my revenge on you anyway. Yep, got my revenge. Woo! I actually survived that. Huh. Weird. But yet you'll uh you'll definitely implode for um just hitting a tree, right? Why am I in the ground? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I mean I can come back in this, I guess. Wonder if he sees me or not. I know there's two of them, one to the left as well. Yeah, get oh, I see him. Oh, get out of here. And three, two, one, point. Yes, got him. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody's getting B. Can't allow that, can we? Get out of it. Yes. Get out of it. Oh, that was a complete miss, but okay. That's fine. Come hither. Yeah, get out of it. What? Okay. That was a skink, wasn't it, that got me? Was it? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of out of points at this. At this. No, no. I could come back. Oh, not enough spawn points. What if I take that off? What did I, what have I got? A thousand. Can I come back with, oh, I can come back with 50s. We'll come back with 50s. All E's down, good. What are you? You seem like a threat. Well, it doesn't matter. Cool. First on the team, uh, we probably only got like two of those kills in the tank though. <laughs> okay, Iberian Castle. I'm probably going to try and play this in the town because KV won this five or 30, whatever this is, I can't even remember. Um, probably is going to be more beneficial playing inside the town because of the close quarters. How are we doing battle rating wise? Mm, questionable. I still think it should only ever be 0.3 up, 0.3 down. I don't think you should be able to go any higher than that. I'm probably not going to go straight for B. That feels like that's a bit suicidal for me. But somebody else is going for B, that's for sure. I heard that. I don't know if that's friendly or not. Is there anyone down there? Down that road? Not that I can see. I did hear something up around there, though. Ah, not helpful. Great. Well, I'm screwed because I can't do anything about that. Great. Nice. Yep. Yep. And you. Yep. Yep. This tank, this tank sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. I think they've got people over to the right somewhere. Probably those that group of T-34s. 
just going to very quickly decap, like so. I wonder if I can maybe kind of hide here. Some of it's coming up front, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I hate this gun. Yep. <laughs> yep. Abandoned factory. I, lads and girls, uh, it's very rare. So, whoa. Huh. Um, it's very rare that I get this defeated this early on in a video, but it's just... This is rough, man. <laughs> this is really rough. I think this might be one of the worst premium tanks in the game. Not because it's a bad tank, but because it's so stupidly overtiered. It should not be 5.0. It should be 4.7 like its Russian counterpart. That or you put a 0.3 hard cap above it. It should not be seeing 6.0 vehicles. M18. No, you shall not hurt him. There we go. Three second repair time. That's a bit better. Go on, get him. Damn it. Oh, and of course there's someone over there. Because why wouldn't there be? Oh, for crying out loud. Go away, bro. Get out of here. Yep. <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I, why am I playing this tank? Why, why am I doing this? Like, why? Seriously, why am I bothering? Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I'm dead. Yep. Nothing I can do against him. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no. Yep. I'm just going to jail. out. Okay, test site. Let's see how quickly we die. I might just hold W and hope for the best. Again, it's important to reiterate that the tank itself isn't necessarily bad, right? It's because we know from the KV, the KV-1 ZIS-5 or whatever it is in the Soviet territory that that is actually a genuinely really good tank. But that's also 0.3 BR lower and it's not facing 6.0 vehicles. Oh my god, what is that? Track. Yep, cool. That's you disabled. Okay, we've got to take out his gun. Okay, apparently it doesn't matter, according to this. Hmm. What about the breach? Can I get the breach? Right, let's try it with APCR. Can I get him with a APCR? Yes, I can. Dickamax or Sturmamil, whatever it is, might be able to help out here a little bit. Wow. <laughs> this, this thing sucks so much, bro. Oh, Jesus. Finally. Oh, hello. Oh, man. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm not dead. Right, you're not going anywhere. What is that? That's a T-14, isn't it? Yeah. I'm about to get flanked. Yeah. Bad. Get out of it. Yep. T14. T14 bad. T14 bad. Oh. Nope. Bad. Wow. Okay. I misfired because I've got a damage breach. I'm so screwed. I'm done here. Yeah. Yeah. Shall I just stay out now or what? Yep.
<laughs> oh, the frog's so bad! When your tank isn't good enough, so you just spawn in aircraft. That's the vibe right now. Right, let's see what we can do here. That's one. Yep, got him. So that's him down there. Right, that's him. Cool. I can get rid of you. Oh, I accidentally dropped two. What a waste. Well, at least it double taps him, I guess. All right. Well, have a, have a, have a, have a, have a. Uh, let's chuck it about that. Uh, might get him. No, just a hit. 500 pounder, just a hit. Not even any tracks? No? Okay. Oh, that's where he is. I didn't see him over there. Weird. Okay. I'm peppering the hell out of that gun. And it was doing nothing. Is it? Isn't that open top? I'm pretty sure you're open top. Get out of it. Oh, okay. I did get him. Nice. Okay. Gee, how long gun. KV2. Nasty. Wasn't there someone over here? Yep, there he is. Get out of it. Nap. Not today, bruv. Ah, uh, needed that. Right, might as well head back to base. There's nothing else we can do. Yeah, I'm going to say at the moment, guys, uh, don't waste your money. Unless it goes down a BR or 0.3 of a BR to 4.7. Uh, do not waste your money at all. It cannot compete at 6.0. It can barely compete at its own tier because it's got the worst gun in existence. Just, yeah. Not a good tank. Not a good tank, which is a shame because in the, in the Russian tech tree, it's great. Um, but here in the Swedish tech tree, don't bother. Save your money at the moment. That's my, that's my advice. That, on the other hand, the German KV-1 with the 75, go out and buy that. Best tank. Best tank. Such a good tank. Save your money on the Swedish one and go buy the German one. Right, what movement do we have? Ah, oh, gotta be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. No, not today, thank you. No, not doing that. Oh, don't do that. I can't even see where they are. There's one over there. We'll drop one on you because reasons. All right, do more damage to me than you. Fine. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Might as well do it. There we go. <laughs> what a shit show this has been. I think, yeah. Guys, save your money. Go out. Go buy the German one. In fact, you know what? We're going to do one round. Just one round with the German KV-1 and see how we do. Okay, Stalingrad. So we're going to do exactly what? Did we just switch sides? Uh, we're going to do exactly one battle with the German KV-175. At the same BR, it even costs similar in GE. So I'm going to show you just how good this is. Value for money. Just one match. You know, if we get anything above three kills, <laughs> that's already better than anything we did with the Finnish KV-1. Because you get all of the benefits of the finished KV-1, you know, the decent turret, you get the mobility, you get the extra armor plating on the front, except you have a German 75mm cannon, which even at 5.0, the Panzer IV H, Panzer IV G gun is still more than capable of knocking out the majority of 5.0, even to an extent 6.0 tanks. So we're against the Americans, the Soviets... And the Chinese and the British. Okay. I'm trying to work out. Has this area changed? It looks different for some reason. Ah, oh, man. M36 just knocked out the EBR. All right, let's hold here for a second. I'm just trying to, trying to work out here where people are. Oh, hello. Where have you gone? He's dead. Good. So I know for a... F oh, wow. Our team is getting decimated. So we've got a Sherman up front somewhere. Or at least a Sherman engine chassis vehicle. Right, he's down. Good. He's down as well. Good. Right, we've already beaten our record in the Finnish KV-1. They have cap... Can I see him? I'm going to have to be super careful now. We are 
deep in enemy territory. But I mean, anything on top right now is now a bonus. Like, that's it. We've already beaten the record of the, <laughs> of the finished KV-1. So where are they? Where are they hiding? I'm just going to go for it because at this point, I mean, I'm super vulnerable. But I just feel like we can just meme about at this point. I kind of, I've kind of proven the point. <laughs> no! All right, that's bad. Oh, he doesn't realize it's me. All right, cool. Someone moving up here. He's dead. Good stuff. Right, we know there's a Sherman over there. What have we got? There's someone here. That's bad. That's good, though. That? Hmm, weird. Okay. Can I not go through that armor, then? Oh, that was close. Yeah, gotta be careful of our uh, little hatch top there. I, I wonder if heat might do anything to him. Oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> they were to our right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Five kills already. You know what? I'm going to come back again. Just because I want to see if I can I can continue to prove a point or not. Right, so we got these guys. We've got you. You're number one. Okay. I can't go through that frontal armor, I don't think. Can I? Yes, I can. Perfect. You're next. Couldn't go through that. That's fine. Come on, uh, angle. Ah! Where, where did he go? Did he kill me twice? Where was he? Oh, he was over there. Okay. Oh, I can't get back, come back in it again. But that's a shame. But there you go. Six kills. Already. Honestly, don't buy the finished KV-1. Save your money and buy the German one because it's just the better vehicle. It's so much better. Yep. There we go. Point proofing. <laughs> Save your money. Go out buy the German KV-1. Do not buy the Finnish one. Not until, and this is going to be the caveat of this video, do not buy the Finnish KV-1 in the Swedish tech tree until it lowers in battle rating. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until next time, take care.